It was nice and easy until we got to the Red Rock Loop. That's when, you know, the, the, the pavement really hit you. It's a test of strength. The back's starting to hurt, neck, the legs are getting sore. In both mind and body. It's nothing, you know, what we're going through. We're, very, we're blessed to be able to come out here and do this. 300 cyclists make up the Vegas Challenge bike ride for multiple sclerosis through the rugged desert and mountain terrain to spacious residential city streets. Some pedal for 90, 60, and some 30 mile routes. Woohoo, Abby! For Abby West, the challenge was one mile. She was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis 10 years ago. I just got so fatigued in the car and I just became like a big jellyfish. It was like and I couldn't hold myself up and I didn't know what was wrong. That moment, her then teenage son saw his mom struggle and decided to fight back. Dr. Timothy West is now director of the Multiple Sclerosis Program at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center for Brain Health. It was at that time that I really started to think about you know, this illness. And so when I started medical school, all I wanted to do was learn about MS. I think the first research was with small mammals. He really got hooked with what the activity of what the brain was doing. 18 years ago, Dr. West says there were no treatments for MS. Now, research like his has led to eight FDA-approved medications for this unpredictable disease. But this son says he's simply doing what his mom has always done. It always showed me that no matter what life throws at you, you just keep moving forward. For West and hundreds of other cyclists, this race is not defined by who wins, and there's no second or third place for those who finish strong. It's about accepting the challenge to ride for multiple sclerosis. My best friend Terry Hensley was diagnosed with MS. The reason why I'm out here riding 100 miles is for my friend Steph. With so many people together trying to fight this thing, we can't help but make progress.